Dear reader, if you remember, I just discovered that the Corgi canine is actually Thorgi, a superhero dog who has been sent to defeat me. Now everything makes sense. This is why we moved to this new house, so that I could face my arch enemy nose to nose. How delightful. His primitive brain will be no match for my super intelligence. He will prove easy to beat. Mwahaha. In order to concoct a cunning plan to defeat Thorgi, I will need to do some book, some research. So I continue to read the Thor comic book. That is when I find an interesting advertisement. Thor's hammer? What a glorious discovery. According to Elliot's comic book, Thor's hammer is a most powerful tool, and it can be mine. I tremble at the thought. All I have to do is fill out the form and send it to the proper address. Then the hammer will be delivered, and after one bonk, I will be rid of my arch enemy. Using my sharp teeth, I chew around the edges of the order form. Then, gripping it in my mouth, I carry it under Elliot's desk, where I found a pen. I begin to fill out the form. When I am done, I carry the form across the room. Then I stand below the Barbie Playhouse and grunt. In People World, Elliot says, Do you want to go back in your house? Elliot places me in the Barbie Playhouse. As he grabs another comic book to read, I waddle along his bookcase until I come to the window. It is cracked open. I slide the order form through the crack, leaving it on the outside windowsill. One of my carrier pigeons will arrive and deliver it. Of this, I am certain. They are very loyal pigeons. I must find a new supply of sunflower seeds so that I can reward them for their service. In People World, Come on, Elliot, Jasmine said. It's time for Peru today. What's Peru today, said Elliot. <coughs> it's Abuela's favorite show, said Jasmine. She wants us to watch it with her. Did I hear the word Peru? My ears prick. Peru is the native homeland of Cavies. Why are these humans talking about it? Elliot picks me up. He carries me down the hallway. Is he taking me to the room with the marshmallow shapes? I squeak eagerly, but he passes that room and instead carries me into a large room with a television mounted on the wall. I enjoy television, especially the nightly news. A future evil ruler must keep up with current events. Elliot sits on the carpet. That is when I make another important discovery. There is an elderly human who lives in the house. They call her Abuela. I observe her for a few minutes. Like me, she wears glasses. Like me, she issues orders and her human servants obey. She appears to have a throne. In human world, get me my cheese puffs, Abuela says. It's time to watch my show. How come you like the show, said Elliot. Because I'm from Peru, said Abuela. Now, shh, it's starting. Imagine my joy to learn that I was in the presence of someone who came from Peru, the Cavi homeland, the land of the Andes Mountains, the land where Cavies run free. Was this another reason why I've been brought to this new house, so that the elderly one can become one of my minions? Of course, she is from Peru, and thus she is a friend to all Cavies. Of this, I am certain. And what great luck that we are going to watch a television show about Peru, the very place where I will one day build my evil castle and rule supreme with my queen, Guinevere. I sit on a cushion, my gaze on the television screen. Oh, how glorious to see the snow-capped mountains and to see herds of cavies in their natural habitat eating sweet grass. I can practically smell the crisp mountain air. My keen eyesight picks up movement. A cheese puff falls from the elderly one's hand. Eating nothing but alfalfa pellet has, how pellets has been torture. I grab the delicacy and burrow beneath the pillow to enjoy my lovely prize. But just as I'm about to sink my teeth into the crunchy treat, the canine's big wet nose invades my space. With a quick swoop of his tongue, the treat disappears. No, I holler. How dare you take my cheese puff, you vile beast. When the hammer of Thor arrives, you shall feel my wrath. Meanwhile, in People World, Why is Gizmo squeaking? said Jasmine. Wedgie's trying to eat him, said Elliot. Wedgie would never do that, said Jasmine. Hey, did that lady on the TV just say that they eat guinea pigs in Peru, said Elliot? Yes, says Abuela. Why would they do that, said Jasmine. Guinea pigs are too cute to eat. In Peru, Abuela said, guinea pigs are food, not pets. I don't want to eat Gizmo, said Jackson. What was that? 
Did I hear what I think I heard? I emerged from the pillow. Everyone is staring at me. I turn my attention to the television show and I see something so vile, it shocks me to my very core. How could Furry Potato get to sit on the couch? I never get to sit on the couch. It's a good thing I found Furry Potato under the pillow. He was lost again. Silly Furry Potato. Jasmine's fingers are covered in orange stuff. I lick her fingers. I love orange stuff. Elliot still doesn't pet me. I lick his hand, but he pushes me away. Why is Elliot so sad? Everyone is watching the television screen. I don't like the television screen. When my family stares at it, they don't pet me. Hey, what's that sound? I run to the door. I sniff the crack under the door. Oh, no. Brutus is out there. Red alert. Red alert. Brutus is in the yard. I run back to the living room. Hey, Brutus is in the yard. Keep the pups inside. Hide under the bed. People stop looking at the television and pay attention to me. Are you listening? Meanwhile, in people world, Wedgie, Abuela says, stop barking. I can't hear my show. Wedgie wants to go outside, said Jasmine. I'll go outside with him, said Elliot. I don't really like this show anyway. All that talk about eating guinea pigs is scary and gizmo. Don't worry, Elliot. There's no need to be sad. I'll chase Brutus from our yard. Elliot is carrying the furry potato in his hands. I herd them toward the door. Then I circle in front of the door, engaging my superpowers. Let me out, let me out, let me out. The force field is activated and the door opens. Brutus, I holler. My cape flies behind me as I run down the walkway. And then I skid to a stop. Brutus is on the other side of the fence in his yard. He makes a circle, then lies down. I know you were here, I tell him. I sniff the hedge. Brutus piddled on it, so I piddle on it. I sniff squirrel tree. Brutus piddled on it, so I piddle on it. I check the bone. It's safe. I check the bone and the stick. They're safe. But the stick smells like Brutus. He touched my stick. Well, in people world... Hey, Dad, said Elliot. I just watched this weird show with Jasmine's grandmother. Did you know they eat guinea pigs in Peru? They do, said Dad. Abuela is from Peru, said Elliot. Do you think she wants to eat gizmo? Ha ha, said Dad. No, I don't think you have to worry about that. The only thing you need to worry about is your birthday. Have you decided what you'd like to do? I want to invite my old friend, said Elliot. I'm sorry, Elliot, Dad said, but they're too far away. Then I don't care about my birthday, said Elliot. Elliot then kicks the stick and it flies over the fence. My stick! I need my stick. I run along the fence. I jump and jump and jump, but I can't get over the fence. I stick my head between the fence posts and push with my back legs. Don't touch my stick, I tell Brutus. I push and push and push. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Meanwhile, in people world, Dad, freeing Wedgie from the fence. Wedgie, you're acting crazy. What's the matter with you? Brutus is too old to play with you. I was stuck, but now I'm free. I want to get my stick, but something catches my eye. What's this? A piece of paper's floating in the air. It lands in my yard. Do you see, Brutus? This is my piece of paper. I grab it with my teeth, then I dig a hole beneath the squirrel tree and bury the piece of paper where it'll be safe. I cover it with dirt, then I piddle on the spot so Brutus knows it's mine. I walk over to Elliot. I press my nose against his ankle. Elliot still won't pet me. Is he sad because my stick is gone? I'll wait for the gate to open, and then I will get my stick, and then Elliot will be happy.